everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and take a look at what we have here. This is a Miraculous Ladybug toy. This is the first one I've seen in the States and it's super cool. This one's called the Compact Collar and it is essentially Ladybug Yo-Yo working as a phone. So Ladybug's Yo-Yo does work as a communicator and take a look at this. You have nine friends to call. So taking a look at the back. So I think this set comes with nine cards and each of these cards can be inserted into the slot and then you dial a number and talk to that friend. Alright, let's open it up and see how this works. Alright, so here is the compact collar and isn't this cool? Look, it fits right in your hand. It's about the size of a large yo-yo and um, it's so cool. It opens up like this. <laughs> This is so neat. So it does take batteries and it's an on off button in the back. But I really love the way how this thing just kind of slides open and closes. That's so cool. And so it does come with a number of cards. So these cards essentially tell you the pattern that you should uh, punch the buttons in in order to call that person. Okay, so let's take a quick look at these cards and see who you can call. So you can call Ladybug. <laughs> I'm not sure why you would want to call Ladybug if you're supposed to be Ladybug. You can call Adrian. Oh my gosh, isn't he cute? <laughs> you can call Tiki. You can call Black. And you can call Alia. You can call her mom. And you can call Cat Noir. I think we need this on speed dial. <laughs> You can, you can also call her dad, and you can call Marinette. <laughs> this is super, super cute. Oh my gosh. So that's call. Let's see. I think we should, I think we should call Adrian. What do you think? <laughs> so you open the phone. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So it's hard to tell which way is up. <laughs> I think you need to turn it on. And you slide it in. And so now you know this is one, two, three, four. So let's push and call. You're super talented, Marinette. You seriously have a good chance of winning. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, that's called Ladybug. I'll get you out of there. <laughs> Let's call Marinette. Tiki <gasps> Oh, that's good. Let's call her dad. Good, because mom's right. There's only one Marinette, and we're counting on her. <laughs> that's sweet. And Cat Noir. Called Marinette's mom. Marinette, don't forget to clean your room after school today. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Alia. Come on, Marinette, do it before you check it out. <laughs> There's Black. Last one, let's call Tiki. So I wonder if you just randomly push buttons if you get something else. Hmm, busy signal. So, it seems like if you press the wrong buttons, you actually would just get a busy signal or um, no one picks up. That's super cool. So this is such a cool phone. I think each of these can only stick in one card, so I'm not sure. Oh, I got a call. Lucky charm! <laughs> That's cool. 
cool, so it does call you every once in a while. Hmm. So these, um, this slot here only keeps one um, card at a time. So you would need like a little wallet or something to uh, keep all the other cards. Hold on in there, ladybug. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, I guess you do get different messages. Oh, so I think you get about four sound bites per card. This is so cool. Let's listen to Cat Moors. This is so fun. Oh my gosh, I love this. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this play phone. It's, I think it's super cute and I just love it. I wish there was a little hook here that you can just uh, hook onto your belt or something. That would have been cool too. <laughs> but uh, let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this toy. And if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we have a Miraculous Ladybug dress up set. So it's too bad this came out after Halloween, but this looks super cool. So if you like to dress up as Ladybug, this is a great set to get. It comes with a mask, we have your yo-yo, we have the earrings, the Miraculous, we have Tiki, and take a look, we even have an Akuma. And it says this one changes colors. Here is the back of the box. It's so pretty. And we have a new picture of Ladybug. A lot of these packages reuse the same image over and over again. So I think it's cool that this one has a new image. All right, let's get it out of the box and check it out. Here is our first item. This is Ladybug's mask. And as you can see, this one is actually made really well. This is plastic, but it's flexible, so you can adjust it to the size of your face. And it has these little hexagons grids all over it. So this is very realistic to the show. I believe Ladybug's outfit looks very similar to this. And it gives it a very nice texture. And I think this makes it look very high quality. So taking a first look at the back here, the elastic looks very short. I think this would only fit a small child. However, this mask is big enough to fit an adult. It does fit me, just not the elastic part. So you can easily fix this by snipping off this elastic and replacing it with something else. You can use a ribbon, another piece of elastic, or maybe even a thicker string. All right, next we have Ladybug's yo-yo. So this yo-yo looks really cool. It is a uh, hand size, so this is really easy to grip. And the front and the back are a little bit different. So the front here has a little line right down the middle and the back does not. And over here in the middle, there is a string. So this is a little yo-yo. Look at this, isn't that cool? String is pretty long. I'm not a yo-yo expert, so I wouldn't know if this actually plays really well, but it seems long enough to play as in yo-yo. Of course, you do not want to throw this at anyone at any time. And there is another feature here. It looks like 
<gasps> this opened. Oh my goodness, look at this. Isn't this cool? Oh wow. This must be where you fit the little Akuma. So let's take out our little Akuma. Okay, so our Akuma is here. It has the little plugs here to fit it into this little groove. Oh my goodness, this is too cute. And I think this changes colors. So I don't know if it's heat activated or it needs to be in ice water. So it seems like just by holding on to it, it does not change color. All right, let's test it out. I have some hot water here and some ice water on the other side. Let's take our little Kuma. Oh, look at this. It turned white. That is so cool. Here we go. Isn't this neat? Of course, as it cools down, it becomes purple again. Or we can just dunk it in ice. Oh my goodness. That is super cool. So let's watch it again. Go straight to white. And then back to blue. <laughs> super fun. All right, next, let's take a look at the Miraculous. I like how it comes in a little jewelry box. All right, and these are just little clip-on earrings. They're completely made of plastic, so I would guess these are actually quite fragile, so you don't want to be too rough with them. It seems like these are just really easy to wear. You just clip them onto your ear, and um, gotta be careful so that they don't fall out. These are also pretty big, so it'll be pretty obvious when you wear them. And our last item here is Tiki. Oh, look at her. <laughs> Her head is so big. So she has huge blue eyes, a cute little smile, two little antennas on top of her head. I think she's supposed to have three, right? And a tiny little body. So she's in a sitting position, which is good because if she was standing, she wouldn't be able to stand at all. Let's see if she can actually sit properly. Yep. So she can sit. <laughs> there we go. And she looks better than the previous Tiki. So this Tiki came in the previous playset. And as you can see here, she doesn't look as cute. I think this Tiki looks more like the one in the show, whereas the other one is a little bit more uh, serious looking. However, take a look. This Tiki is missing some spots. So she has two spots on the sides of her head. And I think she's supposed to have a tail too. So this Tiki, the new one doesn't have a tail. Oh no. So they got some things right. I like the eyes. I like her smile. I think the antenna is cuter this way instead of stuck to the head. But she's also missing her spot and her tail. And I thought she had a spot on her body too. All right, everyone, so here is the playset. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. The mask looks really high quality. We just need to swap out the elastics for a bigger head. This yo-yo is really awesome. I really love the kuma and how it changes colors. And I also love that this is actually a real yo-yo. The earrings are okay. Um, they're not uh, made with the highest quality. It does seem pretty loose. However, you want to be careful because it looks like it would fall very easily. And last of all, we have Tiki. So Tiki overall looks really cute. It's just too bad that it missed out on some of the details. All right, everyone. So what do you think of this playset? Let me know down below in the comment section and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we have a Miraculous Ladybug dress up set. So this one is called Be Marinette and Ladybug. And take a look at this. You can be both Marinette and Ladybug. So first you can see that here is Marinette's bag. This is the bag that she wears and she puts Tiki in it. And you see here, there is also Tiki. She's right here and it says she lights up. And over here on the ladybug side, we have her mask and a pair of gloves that matches her costume. And of course, we got a pair of her earrings. So here in the back, as you can see, what's really cool about the bag is that it's reversible. So when you turn it over, it actually looks like the um, ladybug yo-yo and you can wear it on your waist. Alright, let's open this up and take a look. 
Alright, let's start first by taking a look at the ladybug items. So first we have the mask and this is such a cool mask. Look at that. We have the herd dots. Um, and also this is actually elastic. So back here we have a velcro tie. But it's um, made with thick elastic so it should be pretty comfortable. But this is child size so it is meant for a smaller uh, face. The next item here are earrings. So these are really, really cute. These ladybug earrings are super big and they're uh, snap-ons. Well, they don't really snap, but um, they're very gentle actually. So they'll hold on, but they'll probably fall off if you jump around too much. But these are uh, definitely meant for ears that are not uh, pierced. But they're really, really cute. And they're so big, oh my gosh. <laughs> The next item are the gloves, and these gloves are pretty cute. And these are um, also meant for smaller hands. I don't think I would be able to fit. Nope. <laughs> so these are meant for smaller hands, but they're so fun. Look at this. Look at the dots. Oh my gosh. Isn't this cute? <laughs> I think my little six-year-old would love this. And we have Tiki here. So Tiki has her head sticking out of the box. <laughs> I don't know why they couldn't just um, make a body instead of just the box. And she does light up, so isn't that kind of cool? So she doesn't make any sounds, but she lights up. <laughs> And over here we have Marinette's bag. This is the cutest item ever. Oh my gosh. So here's the back with all these polka dots. And the front with the fancy M on it. And what you can do is you can turn it inside out. And it becomes the yo-yo for a ladybug. So it'll look like you have a yo-yo. <laughs> And what's really nice is that it, the included strap is pretty long so you can wear it like a, a shoulder bag like uh, Marinette does for their other one or you can tie it around your waist for the ladybug effect. So this one, I think it snaps together. Let's see. Do you unscrew it? Or do you pull it apart? Let's see. Oh, you just unsnap it. So this is pretty safe too. And so in there or you can put the compact collar right <laughs> so this is such a perfect bag if you have the compact collar because you can put it right in the bag and you can wear it that is so cute I think I would totally wear it on this side because on this side you get the velcro snap so on the um, if you wear it on the marinette side Closes. I can totally wear this. Oh my gosh. This is so, so cute. <laughs> and put a few other things in here too. You can also put your earrings in here and the little tiki in here. And if you want, you can fold up your gloves and gosh, you can put a lot of stuff in this bag. And close it all up. <laughs> and wear this. Oh my gosh. This is too, too cute. I don't want to put the mask in there because it might um, bend it, but oh my gosh. Alright, so let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this dress up kit. And if you guys like these Miraculous Ladybug merchandise, make sure to check out my reviews of the other ones. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we have a brand new Miraculous Ladybug toy. So I'm super happy that Miraculous Ladybug is coming out with more and more toys. So this one looks like a lot of fun. This is a baton and on the baton is a button where you can play two uh, of the Miraculous Ladybug songs and attached to it is a strand of ribbon that you can use to twirl. So let me show you the back. Here's the back. It just says, twirl the ribbon. <laughs> All right, so let's get this out of the box and take a closer look. All right, so let's open this up, get it out of the box. All 
All right, so here is the baton. It's really, really cute because we have this um, bulb up here that looks just like the yo-yo that the ladybug uses and has these little butterflies on there. And there's a button, so there's a speaker. Let's push it. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh, there's a switch back here so it looks like T is for test and off and then there's the regular on so maybe this is where we can hear the other song Alright, so that's the two songs that you can hear from this baton. What's really cool is that you can turn it off and it already comes with batteries so you can play it right away. What I don't see is a volume button. It's actually quite loud. <laughs> but I think if you put a piece of tape down here, let's say if you cover it, it might not be so loud. There you go. <laughs> so I would recommend putting a piece of tape over it just so that it's not so loud, unless you're outside, which you might be since this is kind of an outdoor play um, toy. Let's take a look at this ribbon here. So this ribbon is not very long. Let's take a look. It is It doesn't come out either. Um, I think this is one of those um, snapping point. So if you pull too hard, I think you might snap. I think it's for safety reasons. So if it gets caught, um, it would break away. And this ribbon is about, I would say two feet long. It's um, been folding it in half here. So this is about a foot, I think. A little bit longer than a foot. So it's about two feet long. Um, not too long, so I think it also for safety reasons. You don't want it to be too long. It's certainly long enough to twirl <laughs> and have lots of fun with it. Um, you certainly can uh, do the ribbon dances. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn it off for now. So you can't do the super fancy ribbon dances, but you can have a lot of fun with this um, shorter strand of ribbon. So let's take a look at this. Very, very cool. Oh my gosh. You know what? I really like this. My girls are going to love this. So certainly once it's done, it's probably easy to put away too, just because the strand is shorter. And there we go. Oh my gosh. Super, super cool. Alright, so let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this Lucky Charm uh, ribbon baton. And if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we have a brand new Miraculous Ladybug toy. This is the Ladybug Yo-Yo Communicator. So here is the back of the box. As you can see, you can wear it on your belt. You can flip it open to use the communicator and you can select a friend to talk to them. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this out of the box. That just flew out. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Oh my goodness, this is the yo-yo and it fits right in your hands like this. It's a pretty nice size. And there is a little clip back here to clip it to your pants. Or maybe even a purse. So we're gonna push the button here. Oh, it pops open. Oh, super cute. Look, we got the Kwamis up here. We got Plague, we got Tiki, we got Trix, and we got Pollen. 
Over here is the little dial, here's the on switch, and here's another dial and a button. And right now we can see Marinette looking super cute. And we can turn this upper dial. Oh, and we get the costumes. So let's see. I think we turn this dial, we get the different characters. Yes, that's right. So we have Adrian, and there is Aya, there's Chloe. Oh, even Hawk Moth, but he's already wearing his costume. And Marinette again. So let's turn this to Ladybug and press the button. I think I know who Hawk Moth is. You're my friend. Nobody can ever know our secret identities. I think I know who Hawk Moth is. Oh, so she gets three phrases. Switch over to Adrian. Next one, Aya, or Rina Rouge. Tricks, let's pounce! My name is Rina Rouge. We're a whole team of superheroes. Tricks, let's pounce! Okay, Queen B. Colin, buzz on! Buzz off. Sit, kitty! <gasps> Colin, buzz on! And we have Hawk Moth. So Turn it to the clear disc. I want the miraculous. Fly away, my little Akuma. Make this hero stay a nightmare. I want the miraculous. That is super cool. Okay, now let's try the clear circle and see if we get Marinette instead of Ladybug. It's Marinette. Leave a message. <gasps> we do. That is cool. So let's see what happens if we pick Hawk Moth and put on Ladybug's costume. Try again later. Oh. <laughs> no signal. Try again later. Huh, interesting. Let's put him on Adrian. So that is super cool. So if they do not match, then you don't get the right sounds. Your friendship means everything to me. That is so, so cool. Alright. Oh my gosh, this is really amazing. And then over here, I noticed that there is actually a butterfly, a little Akuma. And I wonder if it comes off. But this Akuma, even though it's made of rubber, it actually does not come off. It just stays here on the top. It does spin though, so that is super fun. And you can see a little bit of the etching on there. It's in the same type of flower that is on Marinette's shirt. All right, everyone, so this is actually really, really amazing. I am super impressed. You get so many different voices, and I love the little feature where you can turn the dial to turn the characters into their superhero form. I think that is a lot of fun. Such a cool feature. Alright everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like Miraculous Ladybug toys, give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Over here on the left side, we have one for Cat Noir. And take a look at this kit. Oh my goodness. We have Cat Noir's baton. We have Plague. We have the Miraculous. And of course, we have Cat Noir's mask. All you need is a black outfit and some ears. And you're ready to go. Over here on the right side, we have one for Rina Rouge. Here we have the mask. We have Trix, 
the miraculous and the flute and I think this flute actually works so let's go ahead and get them out of the box and take a look let's start with the cat noir one here in the back is a picture of him looking amazing and here is a picture of a kid wearing their accessories all right so to start we have the mask and this mask is actually pretty nice it's made of flexible plastic so that it molds to your face at first i thought it was going to be hard plastic but this one is actually soft and flexible and this is about the size for a kid's face so for an adult's face this would be a little bit too small on the back here we have some elastic to attach it to your face Next, we have the baton. So this baton is light plastic, so it shouldn't hurt too much if you hit somebody with it accidentally. And it does not expand, so this is just a short baton. You cannot extend it or shorten it, and there are no buttons on there. However, the little paw print here is raised, which is a nice touch. Next, we have flag. Here is Plague. Oh my goodness, he has such a big head. Look at him. He is super cute and in a sitting position. And he's the perfect size to fit in the palms of your hand. And last of all, finally, we have the Miraculous. Here it is. It is plastic and it does not change color. So we just have a green paw print and it's rather small. I would say this is like a size four. So this is size for a kid. As you can see, it only fits halfway down my pinky. But you could push it down. It is a little bit tight. Next, we have Rena Rouge. And here is the back of the box for her. And here is the mask. Oh, look. This looks so cool. So again, just like Cat Noir's, this one is made of a flexible plastic or rubber so that it wraps around your face. This one has a bit of an eyebrows here that looks really cool. It is raised and of course the elastic. And I think it's a little bit bigger than the Cat Noir mask. Actually, if you look at it, it's actually a lot bigger than the Cat Noir mask. This one actually fits my face. Very cool. Next, we have Trix. Oh my goodness, Trix is gorgeous. Trix has always been one of my favorite Kwamis. So beautiful, love these ears. Oh, it's a little bit flexible up here. The rest is um, hard plastic, but the ears are rubber. Super cute. Look at the tail and it's in your hands just like this next is the miraculous here is the miraculous it's completely plastic so we have the little pendant here in the shape of a tail here's the back and it has a little safety clasp so that it pops open pretty easily if it gets pulled on. And everything is plastic. So it looks like this. Really cool. And there's a little handle here. Oh, you can use it to spin. <laughs> So if you didn't know how to spin a long stick, then you can use this by holding on to the little handle here and spin it. That is super cool. And I believe it does play, so let's give it a try. <whistles> Sounds like a whistle. It has enough holes here for you to put your fingers over to cover and let's see. I can't, I can't really get the last one. So the first four are fine. And then we have the two up here. One over here. So it's a little bit different from a recorder. The recorder ones are a little bit more evenly spaced out. This one I can't get to the 
last hole. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Okay, so it does not play, and I think that's because this part is the whistle part. So the air actually does not travel down the shaft. And if you look down here, this end is actually sealed. So this part is sealed. It is rubber so that it doesn't hurt anyone if it hits someone accidentally. And if you look through these holes, there's actually plastic inside. So it's blocking the airflow. So that's too bad. I was kind of hoping that this would play like a recorder because that would be a lot of fun and maybe even encourage people to learn how to play the recorder. But it is still a very cool toy. It does have this little spinning thing, which I really like. You can make noise with it, but only a whistle sound. And overall, it is sized perfectly for some cosplay. Alright everyone, so what do you think of these two kits? I really like the Rena Rouge one, especially that the mask is bigger and would fit my face too. But it is super cool to also have the Miraculous and Plague from the Cat Noir kit. Alright everyone, so if you like this video and want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!